just picked up this really old bedside cabinet from a charity shop. Now, as you can see, it's looking pretty worse for wear. So I'm going to bring it back to life, upcycle it. Now, I'm just going to start by cleaning it down. Now look at the state of these knobs. Who on earth would be happy with them? Certainly not me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whip them off, upon the pun, using a screwdriver. Better already. My preparation is complete, so I'm now ready to start upcycling. And I'm gonna use a few different color paints, but I actually still have no idea where I'm gonna go with it or what I'm really gonna do. So I'm probably gonna use a little bit of crackle glaze and on the top, I think a little bit of decoupage. So I'm gonna start by painting the top this gorgeous royal blue color, which is called Kiss Me Slowly. That's my first coat complete, so I'm gonna leave it for a couple of hours before I apply another coat. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna paint my drawer fronts and I'm gonna use Pool Boy for my boy. So when painting two different colors next to each other, let the first color dry. And then once it is, I always find it easier to use masking tape over that first colour, which will then produce a really nice cut in line. My side panels are now dry and I've removed the masking tape so it's good time now to start with the crackle effect to give it that really aged look that I'm after. Now I've decided that I'm just going to use the crackle effect on the side panels and on the front. So. Just gonna start coating it on. It might not look anything at the minute because it just goes on as a clear varnish. Now I'm going to apply the crackle on the drawer fronts. So I've just finished my crackle on my sides and also on the drawer fronts and now I'm waiting for them to dry. I'm going to make a start on the decoupage which is making a really beautiful pattern from something like a napkin. So what I've done, napkins normally come in three layers. I've taken off the bottom two layers, so I'm just left with the top. So we're very patriotic today, and I'm gonna basically put this on the top, like so. I'm also gonna be using something called a finishing coat in which to do it. So I've basically put some in a little pot, and I'm also gonna be using the smooth side of the sponge to apply the finishing coat to the top of the surface before I put down my napkin. So while I'm waiting for my decoupage to dry, I'm going to continue with my crackle effect. 
Now this is a traditional crackle effect using two colours. So we've decided to use a white base coat, then applied the crackle effect and then put the blue on top. So once the blue paint dries, you can see the white bleeding through, creating that lovely crackle effect. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the same colour over the top. Now you might be thinking, well, how's that going to work? Surely it's not going to give any effect. Well, it isn't initially. However, once this dries, I'm then going to apply a wax, which is when you'll start to see the lovely crackle effect. Now that my crackle effect is dry on the sides and also on the drawer fronts, I'm going to apply a furniture wax. Now, these come in four different shades. But I'm going to use the browning wax because I want to get that really nice aged vintage look. So as you can see, I'm not using that much. I'm just putting it on up and down, spreading it nice and thinly across that crackle effect and then again side to side making sure that you haven't missed any bits. Now I've finished applying the wax nice, thinly and evenly. I'm just going to use a dry cloth. I'm going to buff it over just to take off that excess wax, which will now reveal and enhance that lovely crackle effect. stage of my project is actually to apply a finishing coat. Now if you see in a second when I start to apply this it goes on a sort of creamy white colour however once it dries it will go a lovely transparent. Now the aim also for doing this is basically to give that hard wearing far more durable finish. So there you go, that's how easy it is to upcycle an old piece of furniture and give it a brand new lease of life. Hopefully I've inspired you to do it yourself, but if you'd like any more hints and tips, please give us a follow at Mr and Mrs DIY TV on all social platforms.